The burden of suicide. Why do gods constantly mistreat suicide if it's not a ritual suicide, which is included in some ritualistic? It is believed that the people, especially in the times when they lived under the gods, had certain obligations that were imposed on them. They had to do something in this world, a series of events, both important and unimportant, were formed for them. These events have already been woven into the very fabric of our reality, and a person who commits suicide voluntarily stops moving along this fabric. It means that the events formed for him should be dismantled, or someone else should be directed to follow these very events, which is always an energy-intensive process. Therefore, the universe will look with suspicion on all members of the bloodline and family where someone has betrayed their own agreement in this way. It is believed that you have an agreement in this life that you came here with to do certain things. You didn't follow that agreement. And from that point of view, you were absolutely wrong. A ritual suicide, for example, which is practiced in certain systems and in certain religions, is a completely different matter. There was a necessary condition, which was that a person had to be cut off from his family. In other words, he shouldn't hurt anyone else, he should sever all ties with the members of his bloodline. Better fight to the end. As long as a man is alive, he can change everything. As long as a man is alive, as long as he can fight, he must fight. What about samurai who committed seppuku? Were they already cut off from their families when they committed this act? It was different for them because they lived in a completely different system, where there was a belief that if you had been insulted, the only way to preserve the honor of your family was to wash it away with your own blood. On the contrary, in their culture suicide was encouraged if it was carried out according to the rules of ritualism and there were sufficient reasons for it. And they believed that if a person committed a crime or made a mistake, it would later become a source of shame for all members of his family, so he would rather wash it away with his own blood than leave his descendants with this shame forever. For example, the shame of being the son of an oath-breaker was considered worse than suicide. But they were in a different culture, they had a different way of looking at things. And there was also a completely different way of forming egregores. And what about Muslim suicide bombers? Well, it is the same for them. They live in a totally different system. They do not see it as suicide but as a ritual murder committed by one person. Because that person is not just killing himself, he is taking a lot of people with him, in this way he acts as a weapon. With his own blood, he strengthens the rights of Allah in this word. There is another egregore, based on a different set of laws, but now we are talking about what has been done on the basis of Christianity and our culture, on the basis of our operating system. And here the commandments are very clear about what should never be done. And you have to remember that. If you work and live in this culture, if you have anything to do with Christianity in any form, these commandments apply to you. Because you may not be a Christian, but what about your relatives? So first you have to leave the egregore of family and kin, cut all ties, and then you can do whatever you want. You won't hurt anyone. But if there is someone standing behind you, you should think 20 times before you commit such an act. 